Why does that door in the background there look like half a door? Like a little gremlin's going to come out. It's really small. <laughs> Why is that so small? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I guess this is just the way the camera makes it look. It's not small. Um, I imagine like Phil's like sneaking through and he's just like putting his nose through to look at me. That son of a bitch is streaming about me again. Maybe it's, maybe it's Phil up there. Listen, one day we're going to get Phil in your house for a stream. It's going to happen. No, it's not. He would never, ever, ever. What if we, what if we paid for his trip and paid for him to come on the stream? Dude, you Keem, don't think he'd do it? Keemstar offered him 50,000 fucking dollars to, for a sign-on bonus to do a podcast and he wouldn't do it. Do you think us giving him, even if we gave him like two grand, he wouldn't come out here? He wouldn't do 50 yeah. grand, so he ain't doing like two. Break to do Dollar Shave Club or a fucking electric toothbrush or. You did nothing wrong. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Philip Burnell stream because, you know, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. And we've got a lot of things going on with DSP again because why not? More view bots, more begging, more tips. Okay, let's get started, everyone, with some view bots from Phil. And let's tell Phil, Phil will tell you not to pay attention to what's going on in his stream. Because, you know, he's Phil. Yo. He's gonna be some YouTube celebrity or whatever, okay? Now, the other side of this is obviously the members. I mean, holy crap. We went from under 500 members to 1,032 members. Now... <laughs> That's double the growth of his concurrent viewership. Obviously, you have to give credit where credit is due. All right. Team Ico Gamer in the past few days has come by the streams and consciously been doing all he can to support the channel. You know what I'm saying? Team Ico Gamer is Phil's biggest fan right now. <laughs> He's going to be very popular, I tell you that. Um <clears throat> And, uh... The one thing I'd say to Stuart Hogan, if he's if he's listening, that the bots are moving too fast. Like, so maybe put it, like, half speed. It's pretty crazy how po positive things have been around here. You know what I'm saying? It is absolutely very positive. I'm very happy that people support the channel through great adversity. All right? <laughs> he's happy that one person supports the channel through great adversity by giving 5,000 memberships or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Team Michael Gamer, I think Prince of Peace did something like Team Michael Gamer has given like 4,000 to DSP in a matter of months, so. But you know, those those gifted memberships, those are a lot. Hey, so, with all that being said, alright, thank you so much. And Review Tech USA said something about last night that Phil's viewership, his audience is basically... He caters, he's basically has a bunch of sugar, sugar daddies. That's just basically, he's the five people he's catering to. Did you already watch Snow Carl ban? He banned Snow Carl? <laughs> I guess you got to tip more than $2 and annoy him each time. Watch a Team Ico gamer who gifted like... Well, look, we'll see Snow Carl tonight. Hello, Ico Ico. Ridiculous amount. Welcome to the chat. Of memberships to the channel you know we jumped 500 members within just a few short days which is baby man gaming four five six seven i wonder if all the, if they're all the same person that they've done this over the past few years who knows <laughs> only they will tell us absolutely excellent okay um the only question is why am i drinking only iced coffee right now oh wait it's fall <laughs> It's just awesome. Thank you so very much for that. And look at this, right? What have we done? Well, we've unlocked multiple, multiple new emote slots all at once. Okay, which is excellent. And <laughs> he's talking about it. he's so happy about it. he's just rubbing his mustache. I can never get beyond that. <laughs> <laughs> and Phil will still not have an incident of May 1st emote. He will never. Duh. Yeah, they're marching for him. <laughs> they're Phil's biggest fans. They just have to be paid for it. No one is rating. It's the, it's the stupid view bots from the other day. Just ignore it. Because people are like, oh, your views are... It's bots. How are they the same bots? Isn't it just code? So wouldn't it be more code? Growing up is up. Just ignore it. This is the same idiot who was here a few days ago and was doing view botting and stuff. You can't do it. 
I mean, the thing is, you never know if it's the same person. Unless, unless Phil knows who it is. But Phil, like, I mean, this is actually the correct thing to do is just, uh, not make a big deal about it, but... With Phil, with all those gifted memberships, it makes you a little suspicious, because really, this hasn't happened before. And apparently, they were people were saying on Twitch that something similar happened on back when he was on... Well, Twitter, they are saying it on, that something very similar happened on Twitch with uh, natural organic growth, when he decided that organic growth wasn't enough, and that he needed people to shovel memberships. And apparently, he's going to expect his audience to maintain that 1,000 threshold, which, it's not going to happen. Well, it's DSP anything could happen. Do anything about it on YouTube when people do it? These guys, they did the same thing the other day and then they, then they went away. Same thing, they so botted the channel and then all the sub bots went away. And we went back down to, you know, we were at like 219,000 subs and went back down to the 200k it's supposed to be at. You just ignore it. You can't affect it. You don't let the nonsense and drama ignore it. You know, you just, we know, we know it's, it's, it's nonsense. You just ignore the bullshit, okay? And let's see Phil having his magical powers. Weird notion, all right, that... Somehow, just listen to this, because I think this is hilarious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did you know? You ready for this? I have psychic <laughs> manipulative powers that make you do things against your will that you wouldn't normally do. Well, you do have that magic eight ball. How you get people to pay for that? I don't know. That must be magic. And when I turn on my stream, <laughs> I use my psychic manipulative powers through the internet. <laughs> You just chop off Psychic and you're pretty close, Phil. To make you contribute to my content. And it's all this <laughs> hypnosis effect. And then all of a sudden, people can get snapped out of it. And now they're free of the psychic power hypnosis that I use over the internet. Ooh! Did you know that I was an X-Man all along? Ooh! I'm coming for you! Ooh! Oh... He went to Xavier's school for talented youngsters, or whatever it's called. <laughs> oh my god. I mean... <laughs> okay, allow me to explain to you how this really works. He got- he begs- he begs any guilt trips. <laughs> I turn on- what happened to the brightness? Nope, it went down. That's better. That See was that? weird. Oh, I did it again. What is going on? The brightness was fine, and then I zoomed in and now it fucked it up. Are you for real? No, now it's fine again. What the fuck? <laughs> this camera is something else. Anyway, here's how it works, okay? I turn on a camera every day and I broadcast to the internet. I also record that footage and I upload it to my YouTube channel. I provide a service and a product for free. You can argue that the live stream is a service. You can argue that the on-demand video or the, the actual digest... It's true with that. <laughs> if they get who's sitting through DSP ads. The ability of the stream is a, is a, a product that you digest. It's free. I mean, the stream, it's free to watch. I'm not charging anyone to be here. No one is required to... <laughs> he's guilting, he's guilting people to pay for his content. That's what he's doing. Even though he says on his channel, guilt tips are not mandatory, he's gonna whine and complain for the whole three hours if you don't tip him. Because <laughs> somebody has to. ...to be on my stream? No one is required to pay anything to watch my YouTube videos on demand. Trust me, for the amount of people who watch my content still to this day, if I charged for it, I'd be rich. <laughs> okay? Uh, yeah, probably like 70 to 100k. I don't. It's free. Okay? That's the model I've always used. That's the model I want to keep using. Forever. Yes, coming from the same guy who told his fans to click on the ads. Branding your audience for not meeting your lofty goals is a great business model. <laughs> exactly. Alright. Now, if you like <clears throat> what you're seeing, if you enjoy- Yes, slurms, they're always mandatory. <laughs> they're mandatory. It's just- <laughs> It's just a revolving door of who has to pay them. I guess it's Team Echo Gamers Slack now. Joy said content. And you wish to contribute to a lot- Why am I so pink? <laughs> <laughs> He's worried about looking pink. <laughs> Maybe it's the fall gamer weather that's doing it. Maybe the weather's a detractor.
I, Sam, I haven't heard anything about Snorlax. Uh, from DSP, I don't know. All I know is that he, Snorlax King has deleted his Twitter. So, who has no idea? Pink better than Ghost White. Yes, it is, Jesse Green. <laughs> the testing. Yeah. <laughs> I look fine now. But the moment I get to a point, it's gonna make me pink. Does it matter? Does it really matter, Phil? Just put like a red light or a blue light filter. <laughs> Just put like a, whatever they call it, like a screen of <laughs> blue film over it. <laughs> Again. Yeah, the trolling camcorder from 2010. Let's try this again, okay? Hey, Jesse Green. I give you everything for free. And then guilt tripped you into buying it. <laughs> so I could do WWE Champions pulls. <laughs> I'm not mind melding with you. I'm not using amazing psychic mutant abilities over the- I mean, it may be, be <laughs> it may be better than the Magic 8-Ball. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why it's so fun. <laughs> He's completely insane. <laughs> I'm not Professor X. I'm not, you know, controlling your mind. <laughs> I'm already providing content to you for free. Yeah, he tried being a musician once. I mean, magician once. It did work. All right? If you like the content, I've told you my business model is it's a crowdfunded business model. There's no average. True. Advertisements. Right? There's No, you have ads on your on demand videos. It's mainly crowdfunded because your on demand videos are completely neglected, but it didn't always it wasn't always crowdfunded. Before Adpocalypse you were running videos nonstop. There's no product placements, there's no partners, none of that. I mean your crowdfunding technically is kind of just your Patreon. And you kind of really don't do that. The rest of it is just tips exists right it is i mean you sh you're actually doing it now <laughs> that troll video <laughs> that you made on review tech usa which is basically just you exposing yourself me very much giving you free content and you actively deciding to support it for yourselves all right and if you do thank you for example i'm not kidding you team ico gamer just gifted another 50 membership bomb Team Micro Gamer coming in clutch with the bot bombs. <laughs> bot bombs. Hello, JDX. To the to the channel. 50. Now I don't even know if there's 50 people in here that can accept. Thanks, only ice coffee. <laughs> they think it's the same guy. <laughs> can't there can't there be two people that love Phil? <laughs> That aren't Jasper or his wife <laughs> or his parents. Well, a few people have, but now it looks like it stopped. Um, a few people more. So yeah, if you if you were waiting to accept a membership, you might get one right now because the arcade cabinet incident. No idea. He's an arcade cabinet, or is that? I know Boogie has arcades. <laughs> Does Phil have an arcade cabinet? That would be kind of funny. Michael Gamer just dropped another 50 member bomb. This is insane. This is going to be like rec another record today. Which yeah. <laughs> and then those member bombs go away. T. Michael Gamer can't pay it. He's going to expect everybody else to do it. We'll talk about it in a moment. Okay. Thank you so much, T. Michael Gamer. Okay. Um. It's not what I think. Okay. So that being said, <clears throat> all right. What's in DSP's closet? That's how I'm funded. Is you like the content that's already free. You agree that you like it to the point where you want to support it. You agree. What is this, like a contract? <laughs> Do you have a written contract to your viewers that they'll tip? Is that why you flipped out at Sonex King by email? Hello, Michael Marin. Yeah, DSP insulted so about arcade cabinet. He took the... <laughs> yeah. Like with the chicken sandwich. <laughs> you go out of your way to go the extra mile. Jay Kramer's in the chat. They're horrible employees. Okay. I'll and support the content. Right? Because <laughs> there's no no product placements, no app. Oh, there were product placements in the past. You just can't get them anymore. And the trolls help with that. Advertising, no referral code, no Ludwig recommend you? Okay. Oh, here's my sponsored segment of the stream that's five minutes long where I shill a product. No shilling at all here, right? Hell! 
I told you guys I was thinking of- Oh yeah, he, they do work for him. <laughs> they gotta drop those likes. They gotta get to the 100. They gotta get to the 150. They gotta get the goals. <laughs> he really wants to put on that hat, folks. He really does. <laughs> but people gotta pucker up their money first. Bring it back. It can't be only T. Michael Gamer. It's gotta be everybody. They all gotta pull in for Phil. Simply watching is not enough. I merch this this year. I'll be honest, I got so busy I never got around to it. Well, you know who loves those 100 likes. <laughs> I mean, you know who loves the bubbles. <laughs> so here we are. It's kind of too late now, don't you think? You think it's too late to bring in Not a children's entertainer. In shirts and stuff? I think it would be. Um, but that's how it works here. <laughs> Is that why T-Spring booted him? <laughs> it wasn't the trolls because he told me he would buy his shirts because he didn't have his fat face on it. Alright, it, the way it works here is you like the content already, out of your own volition and your own free- <laughs> Well, you make content out of this. <laughs> You're, you have a choice. You have a choice, Aquatiel. <laughs> the people in this chat, I think they're kind of guilt-tripped into staying. We <laughs> will, you decide to support it. Yes. They probably have more fun talking in the chat, like 10 times more fun than they have watching DSP. There are times when I will say to you guys, hey, here's the deal. <laughs> every day, every day he has this feel. It's weak, things are tight. I need some extra help. If you could do it, thank you. If not, it's, you know, fine. I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. But thank you in advance to anyone who supports this content. Because I'm transparent with you guys. Most other kind. And that transparency is completely toxic. Content creators are not. Most other content creators will put on a, a guise, a face, to the public. They don't reveal a Yeah, well, you're like, oh, I'm so real. <laughs> I need groceries right now. <laughs> Maybe it's because they are entertainers and you can't entertain your way out of a cardboard box. A lot of stuff about the, the behind-the-scenes shit. You know, they're not transparent like I am because... MC2 Tech Reviews is in the chat. Dirty scam artist. <laughs> <laughs> He's selling you magic bean contents for like hundred dollars. <laughs> echo, echo. I feel it's, sl it's like shilling when you advertise for something on the site and don't disclose it. Not when you're openly sponsored. Besides, YouTube requires that now. Yeah, I mean, like YouTube. I saw like an Arlo video recently. Like you have to put the paid advertisement in the video. Like I feel like videos like the one he did one today on uh, it was a Mario Kart clone. It was Nicktoons Racing like the third or whatever, but like that video, like how do you know what's the advertise? Like I'm, I would just take it as a whole advertisement for the thing. Like you have basically what's the review and what's the advertisement, but basically if it's paid, it's you better go with it's all advertisement. They feel that that they don't need to be good for them. I have to be because this is my living. I don't Bingo. <laughs> He's too proud to t not take sponsors. He's a real guy. And that's why you gotta pay Daddy Phil. <laughs> or Baby Phil, because, you know, he's got his sugar daddies. <laughs> Team Michael Gamer is the big sugar daddy of the week. I don't, I don't take on those opportunities, or you know what I mean? I don't have all that stuff, so I need help every once in a while. I needed help or I wouldn't even be able to play Gotham Knights today, okay? <laughs> he couldn't wait a day to play Gotham Knights. I mean, are you serious? His business model is like, oh, I'll get all these, or he's convincing the people in his chat, like, oh, I'll get all these new viewers with this game one. The thing is, you have to have sticky support, Phil, and you're not, you're only sticky when it's the incident of May 1st. You're not keeping people in. You're pushing them away. Yes, I heard about the OP seats drama. <laughs> They pulled back once they got like a thousand messages, and that really would happen. Phil is just so toxic, like the trolls are on him. He's got to be an incognito for like the next half decade. So that's how the business model works. Yeah. And your business model is a failed business model, and it only works because you have sugar daddies. <laughs> yeah. Understand. Your sugar daddies keep you afloat. <laughs> the only iced coffees of the world. <laughs> um, this is not a situation where I can psychically make anyone do anything. So I Well, nobody has ESP, Phil. Are you kidding me? <laughs> 
He's like, oh, I gotta make it worse than- I've gotta make it, like, fictional so I can deny it. <laughs> I don't guilt trip my audience or manipulate them into tipping me whatsoever. They come for the quality, fun content. Just have